Hello. In this video we're going to look at working with more complex trig problems now that you've learnt the basics. This is a pretty typical problem where we're asked to find the unknown side x uh, in this right hand triangle. But we see straight away that there's a bit of a problem because there are two triangles that we're working with. So it would be a good idea if we can uh, label them more appropriately. So let's call the left hand triangle triangle A B C and then the right hand triangle is B C D. We can see right away we cannot find X directly in the right hand triangle because we know no lengths. However we notice that side B C is common to both the right hand triangle and the left hand triangle and the left hand triangle does have a length so we should be able to figure things out. So in triangle ABC, relative to the 32 degrees, we see that the 15.1 is the adjacent and the side BC is opposite. So we can use tan to figure out what the length BC is. So write down what we know. Tan of 32 degrees is opposite over adjacent, which is our side BC divided by 15.1 and we use a calculator and find out that tan 32 is 0 0.6249. The important bit here is that BC divided by 15.1 is 0.6249 so that means that BC is 0.6249 multiplied by 15.1 and again using the calculator this tells us that this is 9.5 four three five five so now we actually do know more information about this triangle BCD we know that BC is nine point four three five five and relative to the 55 degrees this is obviously the opposite and the side X we want to find because it's opposite the hypotenuse uh, the right angle clearly is the hypotenuse. So the trig ratio which involves these two opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So the sine of 55 is opposite over hypotenuse which is the side we've just found 9.4355 divided by x and using a calculator we find out that sine 55 is 0 0.819. Now here we have what I call case 2 where the unknown side is in the denominator of the ratio and what we really do is multiply up by the x and then divide back through by the 0.819 uh, which really has the effect of just swapping them over and we find out that x is equal to 9.4355 divided by the 0.819 and using a calculator this tells us the final answer 11.52 meters and we know it's probably correct because we know that x is the hypotenuse and that is longer than any other side and the side we found earlier was 9.4 so this indeed does feel correct <laughs> 